everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be going over our grocery haul for, kind of for this week. We needed some stuff after the weekend that we were supposed to be going camping and we used up most of that stuff with when we went places and did things. So we're slowly getting rid of that stuff and using up that stuff, but now we're going into a new week and I needed more things for lunches and fill in stuff for meals at nighttime. I know we had a comment of one of my other videos that stating that it wasn't enough food for all the kids. Soon, soon I will be doing a video on organizing my freezers and fridge and freezers. So that'll come out soon. But we have two freezer fridge combos and then a stand-up freezer and a freezer chest and we have they're like there's so much food in them so what you guys see in my grocery hauls this isn't all the food that we have in our home and what we all feed our kids so this is just ideas and suggestions for maybe you guys that um, don't use things or haven't seen things at the store before or just different ideas. I like coming on here and connecting with you guys when you guys mention um, things that you guys put together. Uh, so yeah, I'm just sharing a lot of that kind of stuff with you guys. So yeah, I just wanted to explain that a little bit that I have plenty other food in the house for the kids to eat but this is just little things that fill in through the week and so I'm gonna share that with you but also I like when you guys connect with me also and let me know new things or things that you guys put together um, recipes and stuff like that if everybody were to comment down below one of your favorite recipes I will check that out and try that out but I want us to be able to connect together and share recipe ideas and share that kind of stuff with each other so I just wanted to put that out there but let's get started I got a lot of different stuff this time and uh, I just want to share it with you okay so I'm gonna start right here first I have uh, a I think this is two pounds of hamburger. Uh, we have a lot of hamburger in our freezer and stuff right now, but this is kind of just filler meat through the week. And then I have um, a thing of chicken right here and one right here. I'm not sure what else we're gonna do. Um, Gage has really been into Parmesan chicken lately, so maybe something like that. Uh, I got some strawberries. I've been noticing if I get more than this, they just end up not being eaten and they end up going bad. So I wanna be able to just buy a little at a time. I'm able to go to the store as often as I need because I'm in that area quite a bit every day. So I'm able to get more if I need to. I got a bag of frozen strawberries and bananas because we're gonna be making some smoothies uh, with that. I got uh, two things of cucumbers. I think we're just gonna eat that up as a snack. I got some onions because we're gonna be making a salad. Um, me and Miles and maybe Evelyn will have a salad. I saw one on Pinterest. If I remember, I'll leave it down below and you guys can check that out. I have a bag of carrots for either for a snack or for our salad. I got Miles another Caesar salad. Um, this lettuce is going to go with the salad um, on Pinterest. And then this is just a salad that we're going to be adding together with um, whatever else that we will be adding to that. Okay. And then I have, I got uh, Miles some organic chili. I'm gonna see if he'll like that. He's been struggling lately with finding something that doesn't make him feel yucky. Um, we got two things of black olives because that's gonna go in that salad. I found this dairy-free uh, macaroni for Lachlan and Miles. So I found that on the Walmart pickup. I got some rotini noodles we'll be cooking that up with something this week 
I got some bow tie noodles. This is going to be in that salad. Um, some elbow noodles and some penny noodles. And we'll be making that up in the next, like, probably two weeks we'll be using them. I got these little wraps that we usually eat with our tacos. But I'm going to be making chicken wraps with these. I found this bag of steak rolls. There's 24 of them. I can probably put these in the freezer if we don't heat them, you know, eat them up quick. Um, I'm going to be making turkey and stuff tonight. So this might be a side with like butter on them or something like that. I have two packages of hot dog buns. Like that. I have two things of dairy-free sorbet. Um, Miles and my granddaughter and then Lachlan will be having that this weekend. Um, what else here? I bought some more of this Capri Suns. The kids really like that. So for the summer, I think that was just going to be like our little summer drink treat for them guys. I found this for Miles. It's Mexican style shreds, plant-based, dairy-free. So I'm really excited that I even found that on the Walmart pickup order because that gives uh, Lachlan and Miles a chance to have something. And um, yeah, so hopefully this works. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried this brand before or any of this dairy stuff, that dairy-free stuff that I've been talking about. Okay, so I got Miles and Lachlan some coconut milk, uh, dairy-free yogurt, strawberry and banana, some key lime, blueberry, and vanilla. He really liked the blueberry last time, so I wanted to try these out before I buy more. And then I got him this one, um, dairy-free key lime pie. It must, it's kind of like a flip, so like a flip yogurt, and you're able to put toppings and stuff on it. So we'll see if he likes that. And then I got them some pudding, almond milk, pudding, plant-based chocolate pudding, dairy-free, soy-free, gluten-free. Uh, we'll give that a try for them. Um, I got a package of Google -Go Squeezes. They liked that the last time that I bought that. And then um, I got another pack. I think one of them is just apple, apple. And then this one is apple, apple, and apple cinnamon. So we got that. Um, I got a package of vanilla pudding. I thought I bought another one. But I'm going to be making my own whipped cream frosting for this weekend and see if I can do it. Because um, I've been ordering it from Walmart and I'm just going to see if I can do it by myself this time. I got sprinkles for my granddaughter's birthday cake we're going to be making a butterfly birthday cake and i needed this for the toppings i got some gel black gel to go around the cake to outline uh, the butterfly i got some more decorating bags because i have so many cakes that i need to do this month i have a uh, box of chocolate cake because that's what we're going to be making her cake with and then I got some dairy-free ranch again. We really liked it the last time, so we're going to stick with this one for the ones I can't have dairy. I also found this on the Walmart pickup, acid and indigestion relief. Uh, we usually use just regular acid, uh, like heartburn medicine. Um, so I'm going to give this a try and see if it's going to work. It has clove, ginger, coriander, apple cider vinegar, and turmeric. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of not focusing in on it. But that's what I got. So it's Maddie's All Natural um, on the Walmart pickup order. I got a package of hot dogs. I figure one of these days we can make a lunch with hot dogs. Not all my kids like hot dogs, but I just got one because we have more in the freezer. Uh, I got this organic protein, uh, vanilla, and we're going to be adding this to the strawberry and banana smoothies. So I'm probably going to do like a scoop of this with the strawberry and banana and then maybe some of that almond milk in there. We'll make smoothies for the kids that don't always get, you know, like the dairy uh, treats and stuff like that. 
All right, I got some heavy whipping cream because I'm gonna be making that whipped cream frosting. I found Lachlan and Miles these uh, Daya uh, dairy-free breakfast burritos. Um, them two always struggle with what to have for breakfast just because they can't have a lot of like the dairy stuff. Um, so we'll see if this will uh, work for them. I have a package of eggs because our chickens are still not laying yet. It's going to be a while. So I got a package of them. And then I got two of these because I'm going to be hard boiling them in my Instapot. All right. So I found this for Lachlan and um, Miles too. So vegan cauliflower cream sauce, sweet potatoes, and pasta. Uh, let's see once. I didn't know for sure if this had dairy in it or not. It was in the dairy free. Um, so we're going to try this out and see if they even like it and go from there, I guess. That's why I got two of all the dairy stuff because I just dairy free stuff because I didn't know, you know, if Lachlan and Miles wanted to both try it. I got a Jack's pizza. It's usually what we go with the pepperoni. Uh, Hudson likes the home run and I like the home run too and then usually Eli likes the red baron so I'm making that up um, and then over here Hudson's been really liking these crab legs and then he just fries them up with butter and salt and pepper we got two packages of this sh shrimp scampi I'm thinking I can maybe pair this with some of them noodles this week I have some beer battered fillets. We'll be putting this in the air fryer, I'm sure. And then um, I got some shrimp spring rolls. I've never tried these before, so we'll see if we're gonna like them. I'm thinking I could put these in the air fryer and just cook them up for a, a lunch or a supper. And then a package of the butterfly, butterfly shrimp. Um, so either for supper or lunch, we can have that. I got some natural uh, chicken nuggets. We've been using chicken nuggets with our wraps and stuff. Um, I just saw this on there and uh, wanted to give it a try. Maybe for Lachlan and Miles that have um, the stomach issues and stuff like that. So maybe that'll work for them. And then package of pizza rolls. We got some crispy chicken strips. I have some golden crinkle fries. I got two packs of the crinkle fries. All right, I think I gotta go all the way around to tell you what else I got over on this side. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four bags of the seasoned uh, tater tots. And the only reason why I have four of them is because they didn't have the large bag, so they just substituted it for these smaller ones. Um, this one got substituted too. This one is Winnie the Pooh Honey Chicken Nuggets. I actually got something else. Um, I think they were like dinosaur ones, and they just didn't have it. So this one is gluten-free, no hormones added, no preservatives, all natural. So we're going to give these a try. Um another oh i think i just got one bag of these okay so a bag of the golden crispy crowns um gage will fry these up with eggs and then put them in a wrap for like a breakfast wrap and then a big bag of chicken nuggets so we got enough chicken nuggets for a while and then i thought this was pretty cool i saw this in the non-dairy but i don't think it's non-dairy but it's white chicken nugget patty fritters fun form mashed potatoes i thought the kids would like that they were only a dollar so i got a couple of them let me see one two three four five six seven eight of them so each kid could have one of them for like a lunch sometime so that is all that stuff over there and then um i got lachlan a lactose free milk he didn't really like almond milk so we're gonna give this a try and see if it's just a lactose issue with his stomach and uh go from there with this one so we'll see if that's gonna work um 
And then I got a thing of the Starbucks caramel. This is usually the coffee that we go with. And then the Tarani caramel sauce to go with that. I got um, a viewer suggested that we try the clear American drinks, water drinks, black cherry, and strawberry I got. So that I think is it for everything. I think that's pretty much it for everything on my grocery haul. Hopefully you guys like that. Yeah, I got a lot more dairy free stuff. I really went on there and tried to focus on that just to see what I can get for Miles. It's really, really hard to feed him because he gets sick off of everything. We've all, we did have him tested for gluten um, and it didn't come back that he had that issue, but I heard that there's more things into it that I really don't know a lot about yet. So I'm still trying to figure that out. But for right now, this is the best that I can do with that until I can figure it all out. Little by little, we are doing good with it and his stomach is getting better and better with just these little changes and stuff. And now we're working on Lachlan and all the little stuff that he needs with his. So that's pretty much it today. If you guys like today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.